Hello everybody and welcome back to my tech with me carburetor today we are starting out once again on my base in Exuma's patreon server looking at the redstone mechanics for my mob farm now I believe I've said this in the past and I'll say it again observers are the best block in the game in my opinion they are absolutely the best because you can do really neat stuff like what I have going on here what I have is hooked up to this redstone clock which is also hooked up to the other mob farm over there it comes through and it'll give a one tick pulse which I have extended out here just a little bit into this mini pulse extender here which then goes and fires up this huge pulse extender which then fires this repeater which fires this redstone and looks into this observer and basically what I'm doing here is I'm making a long pulse or dual edge monostable circuit Man, that's a mouthful to say. Um, and this is really cool because I can set it with all of these comparators. I have it set so that when it fires, which we might even see fire here pretty soon right there, you can see it sends a pulse through. And in 30 seconds, this redstone will shut off and it'll send another pulse through and essentially turn off the mob farm. It'll click all of those dispensers. It'll hit, cause them to all fire again, and it'll retract the water, allowing mobs to spawn again. And it makes it a very, uh, very uh, efficient farm. But this isn't actually what I'm going to be showcasing today. You guys may be wondering why I have a repeater here. Why didn't I just have this facing into the observer? Well, I found out something rather interesting. Let's hop into a uh, redstone testing world, and I can show you guys what I found. So as you can see, we are now in a uh, redstone testing world. Not, well, not my full extensive redstone testing world, but a uh, creative world that we can test in. And if we go ahead and load this thing up with cobblestone, press this button. As you can see, the first item is fired, and then it's followed by several more items. And if we actually go in, we see that there are 16. Now, some of you guys may go, well, carburetor, why do we care? Well, a lot of people have shops, you know, on servers and whatnot. And one of the coolest things you can do with shops is make them on automated. You know, you put one diamond in and automatically items are dispensed. And you can actually make this tileable right here. I'm going to leave that cobblestone so we can see the button. But by putting in four droppers... stringing them together like this make it look a little nice and pretty and then go back through and load each of these droppers up with items we can go in here and we get one full stack of items. So you can have a little sorting system down here which takes in diamonds as payment and it'll spit out one stack of just random item let's go blaze rods or cobblestone or grass blocks or redstone blocks, anything you want. This is a very neat compact system so let me go ahead and show you guys how to build it. First off, let me strip away all this extra here and strip away the beautification that I did here. I know some people hate stone bricks, but I'm like mumbo. I don't mind stone bricks. I actually kind of like them. But as you can see, it's very simplistic and very basic. First, what you're going to need, let me show you guys how to make this exact system right here, and then I can show you guys the fundamentals. Just pull out a uh, two by three area like this and that this is just to make it more compact if you want to throw it up in the air a little bit more go ahead and do that maybe even put it on a pedestal make it look like a temple be my guest this is just the way that I prefer to do it go ahead stick down a single block there have a comparator running into that block have another comparator out here run redstone around like that on top of this redstone place a dropper facing upwards with a block on top have a face out like this 
put a button right here, put your dropper right here, fill it up with items, and there you go. It's all made. Oh, I forgot some very basic. That was me being a spoon. Go ahead and try this again. And as you can see, you get 16 items. Now I can think of so many ways that this could be used. This could be used as an ender pro station. It could be used for the shops, like I said. It could be used for mob farms. There's so many things that this can be used for. But let me show you a few of the basics here. Essentially, and I'm going to draw this out so that you can see it a little bit more. I'm not gonna make it as compact, but if we just take a piece of redstone, go off of here, run it around like this, and put a single button on here, you can see. Oh, I guess you can't see because I didn't load it up. But essentially what the observer is doing is it's detecting every single time the power level drops in this redstone, making a very fast dispenser. And honestly, when I first came upon this, I was actually very frustrated by it because it kind of broke my mob farm. But now that I know about it and I know what it can do, I have to say, this is amazing. It's a very compact automatic dropping system. And it works flawlessly. It doesn't require redstone burnout clocks. Previously, somebody like Mumbo would probably use a system like this. Where you then get that, which is okay, but it's a redstone burnout clock. It's not exactly the best thing for a server. This is a lot better. It's tileable. It looks nice, it's compact, and most importantly, it uses my favorite block in the game, the Observer. Oops, just broke my uh, just broke my build there. I'm so used to playing in Survival World. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, and if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And please, 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 I'm a fledgling YouTube channel, and I'm just trying to get started here, but if you wouldn't mind sharing this with a couple of your friends, show it to a few of the people that you play with on servers or a couple of other YouTubers, I'd greatly appreciate it. But this is Carburetor, and I'm out of here, and I will see you all next week.